Okay, in number six, it says a baseball diamond is a square with side um, 90 feet. It says if a batter hits the ball and runs towards first base with a speed of 20 feet per second, at what speed is his distance from second base decreasing when he's halfway to first base? <clears throat> so this is a related rates problem. Just make a nice little picture. Okay, so we've got some guy. Hey, he's running towards first base here. Okay, so what we're interested in here is the distance, the rate at which the distance between this guy um, and second base is changing. So if he's sitting right here, the distance between him and second base, maybe we could call that, I don't know, let's call that Z. Suppose this guy has already went X feet so far. <clears throat> well, it says he's running at a rate of 20 feet per second. So that means that dx dt is going to be equal to 20. We're trying to figure out the rate at which um, his distance from second base um, is decreasing. So we're trying to figure out the change in z with respect to time. <coughs> and we're trying to do that in this problem when he's halfway to first base. Well, if each side is 90 feet long, when he's halfway to first base, we'll be doing that when x equals 45. So we still have to come up with a nice little equation to take the derivative of. But notice if I look at this triangle inside of here, if I kind of pull it out. Okay, so this is our length z. So here's our guy down here at second base. If he's already went x units, that means the remainder is 90 minus x. This other side stays fixed at 90. So by the Pythagorean theorem, <coughs> we'll simply get that 90 minus x squared plus 90 squared equals z squared. Well, if you multiply that, we'll get 2, 90, we'll take the derivative with respect to time, we'll get 2 out front using the chain rule, 90 minus x to the first power. The derivative of the inside will be negative 1 dx dt. <coughs> and then on the right side, the derivative of 2z, excuse me, z squared will be 2z dz dt. So now I just have to go back and start plugging in all my information. So we know that x is 45, so I'm going to get 2 times 45. I've got negative 1 times dx dt. dx dt is 20. I can divide both sides by 2z. That'll give me dz dt. But notice we don't have the value for z. <clears throat> well, at this particular instant in time, if he's gone 45 feet, that means that this is 45 feet. By the Pythagorean theorem, we'll get that z squared equals 45 squared plus 90 squared. So if we take the square root of that, that's what will go underneath the radical. 45 squared plus 90 squared. <clears throat> and after a bit of algebra, you can simplify this down and get that dz dt is going to be negative 4 root 5. And again, the negative just means that distance is decreasing with time.